Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. We have it guys, we have a new update, Alpha 19.7. So let's see what is new. In Alpha 19, Tidal Force is now, uh, we already have Alpha 19. Okay, let's just read this still. Tidal force, uh, force is now tear apart planets. Planets are now vaporized by high temperatures. There's improved in performance, appearance, and user control for particles and fragments. What else? Supernova now destroy planets. Explosions are more epic and create expanding shockwaves. There's new music, GIF video recording tools, new object models, simulation stats and sorting, and hundreds of other improvements and bug fixes. So, the update here is the uh, 0.7 part of Alpha 19.7. I don't know what was tweaked, but I just opened up the page. So, let's see. Alpha 19.7 is the last ma uh, minor release before our next major update, Alpha 20, which has been development uh, since the beginning of the year. In 1977, NASA launched the twin spacecraft of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 with the primary mission of exploring Jupiter and Saturn. The spacecraft sent back data and images that led to many discoveries about the two gas giants and their moons, rings, and magnetic fields. Then Voyager 2 went on to study Uranus and Neptune as Voyager 1 headed toward interstellar space. Today, the uh, spacecraft continued to relay important scientific data as Voyager 2 explores the he helio sheath helio sheath and voyager one heads for uh, farther than any human made object in history congratulations voyager one both voyager one and two copy a, uh, carry a copy of the famous golden record these phonograph records contain a selection of images sounds and music meant to represent the breath of life on earth as one of the curators that, for the records content carl sagan noted the spacecraft will be encountered and the record played only if there are advanced spacefaring civilizations in interstellar space. But the launching of this bottle into the cosmic ocean says something very hopeful about the life on this planet. Check out the new Voyager model in Sims and Universe Sandbox 2. So, let's check this out. Let's go into a new simulation and check out Voyager 1 and 2. So, I'm assuming it's under you. uh, no, not user objects. Objects. Voyager. Here is Voyager 1. And here is Voyager 2. Ooh, they look pretty similar, considering they're both Voyager. Is there any big differences here? Let's see their, uh, reactor, the antenna. And I I think that's all we got here. But it is very cool. It is a very nice model. And we will use this as a nuke or something in later videos for sure. So now let's delete these and check out our historical uh, simulations we've got in here. So if we go here and then open simulation and under historical wow that is a lot Voyager 1 and 2 in solar system in 2017 here is Voyager 1 all the way out here completely outside of our solar system and Voyager 2 is all the way down here and this is pretty much where they are at this time so that's pretty interesting. Look how far they've went. How quickly are they moving? Uh, if we look at motion, they're moving at 17 kilometers per second. So let's speed things up. Two years a second, 10 years a second, 100 years a second. And there it goes further and further away, losing slight amounts of speed but going out into the distance further than anything before. <laughs> Whenever I heard of Voyager 1, I actually thought it was much further out. I thought it would be like, out here-ish, but that, it really does humble you when you think of the size of space. 
how far everything is away from each other. So let's look at Voyager 1 and Jupiter in 1979. So here is Jupiter. There is Voyager 1. And because NASA is so very good at their job, Voyager 1 is going to absolutely perfectly intercept Jupiter. And here it is. The intercept. And it is gaining speed from this being slingshot. And thrown around Jupiter. But look at that. For at least a while it was right next to Jupiter. And now it goes on further and further away. Let's just delete these moons and Jupiter so there's less lag. Why not? Oh shoot, that, that got rid of all the lag all right, but it also destroyed our simulation. No! Okay, let's look at Voyager 1 and Saturn, because after it went by Jupiter, it went by Saturn. Here it comes from where it was last time, and... Bam! Went right by. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> we lined it up that perfectly. And then we have Voyager 2 in Jupiter. Now with better technology and stuff, we... Is this lined up even closer now? Knew it. Uh, I'm not sure. No, further away. A lot further away. And I'm wondering if Voyager 2 will hit Saturn if we just continue this. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean... Oh, I can't actually undo deletions. By deleting all these, we are getting rid of lag. And here we go, Voyager 2, going on its journey towards Saturn. There's Voyager 1. Who actually went by it? Yeah, it looks like this will actually simulate it perfectly. Give some credit to the Universe Sandbox 2 team there. Their game is so accurate. Oh, we missed. <laughs> well... <laughs> Rip, I, uh, ignore I said that. Oh, Voyager 2 wasn't supposed to hit it. Okay, it's supposed to hit Neptune. Okay, so get rid of what I just said. Let's see if it goes by Neptune. Which it didn't. <laughs> okay, let's go to Voyager 2 and Neptune. As Voyager 2 came towards Neptune... And where is Voyager 2? Oh, there it is. It went right by. I kind of missed that, but there it is. Is Neptune leaving behind a trip? Oh, no, it's just all the things behind it. it makes it look like it's disintegrating a bit into space. That's okay, though. Let's see. What else is new in this update? We have a ton of simulations. And another spacecraft, Cassini, entered Saturn's orbit in 2004 to continue studying the planet and its moons in, on April 13th, 2017. Ooh, that was recently. NASA announced that they found evidence in Cassini's data for some of the ingredients for life on Saturn's icy ocean-bearing moon Enceladus. Yes, that was all over the news a few days ago. NASA will continue to study Enceladus and other ocean worlds on, in the ongoing search for signs of life uh, beyond Earth. Jeez. I cannot read today. Sorry about that. <laughs> Check out the new high-res texture for Enceladus. Okay, and if I may, uh, have been pronouncing that wrong the entire time, I, I seriously... Uh, I apologize. You know, these are not normal words to use every day. And here it is. Oh, look at that high res. That actually looks real nice. Look at them mountains. Isn't that crazy? As time goes on, every single planet and moon in our solar system will have these really high resolution pictures. 
in games like this. It's one way to watch your progress. You will slowly see things get higher quality. So guys, that is the update, and I hope you all a great day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want more, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.